bin Simina Grigoriou von Susumu Records und er begleitet mich durch eine Woche durch Berlin. So I was, uh, I mean, I was born in, in Bucharest. Uh, in 1981 and I left when I was about three years old. Oh, it's raining. Um, I left when I was three years old. Uh, we escaped uh, Ceausescu and communism. My family ran over to Toronto and I grew up there my whole life. So um, basically I consider myself very much Canadian. Um, on top of that, I, ever since I'm 12 years old, I'm, I'm traveling to Romania very much. So I'm spending my summers there and I'm spending, I was spending my, my school year in Toronto and my summer in Romania. So I feel that I got the best of both worlds. Uh, which is, not, you don't find that quite often in, in Canada. You find, you know, people that come to, to Canada as immigrants, ah, they become immediately just uh, Canadian citizens. So I feel very lucky that I kept that part of, of my roots. Uh, moving to Berlin, uh, I met after I met my fiancé, and uh, this was a straight move out of my heart. Um, I changed, just picked up my life and, and uh, moved to Berlin, and uh, I couldn't be happier. And now that, now that my music is also rolling, it's, uh, it's, it's quite a nice feeling. Music has been part of my life since I was a child. Um, it started with being actually forced upon me by my parents, which, uh, which I guess it was violin lessons, um, also piano lessons. Amongst that was also dancing lessons and acting lessons and whatever, but it was actually the music that stuck with me the most. I, my interest peaked when I started to go to Romania uh, for holidays when I was about 12 years old, uh, because the difference in lifestyle for a 12-year-old kid in Canada and a 12-year-old kid in Romania is quite different. Um, you have nothing to do in Canada besides ride your bike and maybe go to a movie, whereas in Romania you can go to a discotheque. You can hear music, you can, um, you know, even the videos on, on MTV are different there than, than they were back home. Um, a lot less censored. And uh, I was discovering music, even though it was commercial music at the time, I was discovering music that I never knew before. Um, so that sparked an interest in me and um, then I became a, a raver in, in the raver scene of the 90s. Uh, my rebellion stage, I guess it would be, with my best friend, Helen. I know you're out there. Um, yeah, and then I was, uh, this was actually, when I was a junglist, I can't say it without smiling because I, I looked hilarious when I was short, spiky blonde hair, the biggest pants ever. It was like the funniest thing you could see. Um, but it was actually more about the community more than it was about the music, I think, at the time, just because I was so young. Um, then I became, I guess, after university ended, I, uh, I started to do some techno parties with some of my friends. And uh, my interest uh, sparked in, in actually in playing records. So I was watching the DJs and I was like, what are they doing and how do they do that? And I just started to do it myself. And at home, I got myself a couple of decks at home, some shitty ones, and, um, and went with it from there. Um, but again, I think it wasn't until I came to Berlin that I actually took myself seriously because I had a 9-to-5 job in Canada. I was working and then I was playing records on the side and I was coming to work on Monday with black under my eyes because I can't do everything at once, right? So, um, so yeah, so then when I came to Berlin and I'm, I bless God that I have the love and support of my family to be able to do what I'm doing because some people don't look at this as a real job, unfortunately. Um, yeah, so now I take myself seriously and I have my first album and I'm kind of proud of myself. Oh, a lot of differences. I mean, first of all, Berlin is so much older. Canada, Canada is, is less than 200 years old. And, uh, you know, Europe, 200 years is nothing to Europe. It's like yesterday. So from a history point of view, I mean, it reflects throughout the city. You see it in the buildings, you see it in the people, you see it in the music. Um, you see it also in the knowledge of the people. Um, how do I put this without insulting anybody? Um, a little bit less educated in terms of history because uh, because just there isn't so much of it. 
Um, and in terms of music, I mean, it's much, much more diverse, I find, here in Europe. Uh, what Berlin, okay, how do I put this? The underground in Toronto would be considered the, like all of Berlin would be considered the underground in Toronto. So we have such a small little bit of music that comparatively to Berlin is so small that uh, Berlin cannot be underground compared to, uh, compared to where I come from because, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just not available. Yeah, uh, but it's starting more and more. I mean, you see producers coming out and, uh, and it, it warms my heart when I see someone from Germany and they have like a remix from one of my friends in Toronto and I'm like, holy shit, that's great. So um, I like it. What I would like to do is uh, maybe we can, uh, maybe going to Tegel and seeing some plane spotting, watching them flying above. Um, I love heights very much, so I also like uh, Riesenrade, Riesenrede, Riesenrede. Yeah, and uh, flying, and um, there is also something very cool to do, but I don't think we can go there today. Jumping off the park in, so, yeah, I love heights. Um, I also love to eat, so we can uh, check out some restaurants and um, maybe uh, some shopping, maybe a flow market or two, uh, maybe a record shop or two. Yep, just walking around is actually my favorite thing to do in the city, just walking around.